see a band playing up under the water. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, a band, 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 a band. The man, the man, the man, 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 man. Hey, 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 my God. You finna hear about the Bermuda Triangle. Hallelujah, like never heard before. It's finna be all over the news. Shondo, Rebe, Rebe, and I rebuke airplane crash that I just saw. Hallelujah, I saw an airplane with a lot of turbulence shaking. Shaba, and I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on and bless God and glorify him. And exalt him for he is the king. To Europe. Many were tracking the flight, and now we know what was behind this and why they turned back. Here's Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, the mystery of the U.S. bound flight that made it almost all the way to North America and descended more than 8,000 feet before it turned back around towards Europe. We're now learning that flight encountered severe turbulence over Greenland, images showing items thrown across the cabin. According to Scandinavian Airlines, 254 passengers were on board, traveling from Stockholm, Sweden, to Miami when it hit turbulence. One passenger telling ABC News the turbulence started intensifying to the point where it was unpleasant. People were screaming. The Airbus A330 then descending roughly 8,300 feet in seven minutes to find smoother air. The airline making the unusual move to fly all the way back to Europe despite its proximity to Canada and the U.S. The aircraft rerouting to Copenhagen more than five hours away. The airline saying they do not have the necessary facilities and staff to inspect the plane in Miami. No severe injuries were reported among the passengers or crew. David, that plane landed in Copenhagen without incident. The airline says it will undergo a full inspection. Passengers are being booked into hotels overnight and will travel on another flight to Miami tomorrow.